If you want to see Emily, today's video is going to be a new Freddy Reads, kind of just updating you with what I've been reading, what I'm planning on reading. By the way, thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video. So let's just jump right where we ended last week. So since last week, I finished three books and I'm still in the middle of a couple ones. And I also wanted to give you like a definitive TBR for the rest of the month because my reading has been all over the place and I also got a few more books from uh, my library, kind of added my name to a few other ones that I should have within maybe before the end of the month, maybe not, so you might see them in my TBR for June. But let's start with the books that I finished. The first one, Run by Blake Crouch, which, oh, if you follow on Goodreads, you already know that this was the most painful read I've had to go through in a really long time. I will go more into it uh, at the end of the month in my wrap up. But uh, long story short, oh, oh. this is a post-apocalyptic kind of thriller book. Uh, a group of people saw uh, Aurora Borealis outside and everyone that saw it kind of go crazy, start killing everyone. So the premise was interesting and I knew already since I have loved uh, some of her, his other books that he's really good at making you, you know, keeping you at the edge of your seat. You really want to know what's going to happen next. And it was still the case here, but this is the oldest book from him that I've ever read, I believe. And the writing, the characters, the dialogues. Horrible, in my opinion. Uh, you're following a family trying to survive through, you know, this chaos. Kind of, kind of trying to go to Canada where... Uh, people weren't able to see the the aurora borealis and I usually like to you know cheer for the group of people trying to survive but here I was actually waiting for his kids to die I was like hoping for it yeah it was it was not good the ending was also really not satisfying and I would not recommend this to my worst enemy I this is probably top three if not top one worst book that I've read this year so far. Hey, don't do that to yourself. Just just don't. But on the bright side, it means that uh, E improved drastically between, I think this one was published in 2011 and his most recent book was 2017 or something. So it's like 16. So like E's improved drastically really fast. So I'm hopeful that I will enjoy his newer books. I have one more of his books on my shelves, which I will be reading, but if I don't like that one, I will never read another of his older books. I will just keep an eye out for his newer books. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna leave it at that for now because I, I mean, I just finished it recently and I'm still very angry about it. So, so I'm gonna give myself a few more days to calm down before going more in details, but yeah, I, no. I also finished Stranger Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, which uh, I mentioned last week that I was like 50% into the audiobook and so far it was good because it was a YA fantasy but it was kind of interesting because you were following uh, partially uh, the kids of the old gods that were killed and like they had magical powers and everything which that bit was interesting. The other bit, the, the other group you were following which is like a young character who uh, became a librarian but he doesn't know his family and everything. That premise was interesting however the second half of the audiobook was like pure insta why I love so uh, I feel like it brought the whole um quality of the book my whole enjoyment kind of down and I have to say I saw the ending coming like way way early so I did like it okay like I don't no, I understand why some people would enjoy it but I think it's overhyped so there is the second book coming out I believe it is this year so I'm not really in a rush to continue I, I believe it's coming out uh towards the end of this year or at least this year so when it's out, I might read it, I might not. I just like it okay, to be honest. It's probably gonna be like a 3.5 again. I'm giving myself a few more days, but yeah. The premise was interesting, the romance was just meh. And then I finish this book, which is The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. I mostly listened to it as an audiobook, but I also went through a few of the pages, uh, the physical copy. This is one of my first ish memoirs I've went through so I feel like I'm kind of hesitant to give a score to it like giving it a rating and I actually just finished it earlier today so again it's kind of still simmering. <laughs> You're following uh, the author as a kid when uh, she's just telling us about her life with a really really dysfunctional family and I feel like you, you're supposed to kind of feel that whole like magical children view of things but I'm not sure I actually enjoyed any of it and I kind of ended up kind of judging her family and feeling that the whole thing was kind of messed up. It starts when she's an adult and just seeing her mom going through like trash cans. 
and she seems to be embarrassed by it but then when you go back as a kid obviously she doesn't feel embarrassed yet but like things are just so strange like she's three years old and cooking herself like a hot dog and like she catches fire and like she ends up burning a lot of herself and I <sighs> so yeah overall I'm just not sure how I'm actually supposed to feel about this book because the reviews are so positive and I feel like I probably need to go and read a few reviews to see how my opinion kind of compares to the people. But yes, this was uh, interesting to say the least. And it's kind of like, it's less than 300 pages, so it's not super long. So if you want to read more memoir, I do recommend it, but just be aware our family is very, very dysfunctional. <laughs> now we're ready to go towards the books that I'm either currently reading or will be hopefully finishing before the end of the month. The first one I have is from Audible. I've been a member of Audible for the last three-ish years and I love how they have the newest books all the time that I want to listen to. If you want to get your first book uh, for free, you can just go on audible.com slash books with Emily. I will link everything down below if you want to see more details. But yes, I have been listening to this new release. This is, I believe it was released at uh, beginning of the month and it is Not That Bad, edited by Roxane Gay. I listened to Bad Feminist by her a few weeks ago and definitely wanted to read more from her. This book is an anthology about uh, what it's like to be a woman nowadays living in a world where we have to deal with violence and harassment and where we're also discredited every time we try and speak out about it. And I think this is obviously a very relevant subject nowadays with the whole uh, Me Too movement also coming out. And the original idea behind the book was to get a bunch of uh, stories from authors, other actresses and everything and kind of grouping everything about rape culture, but it kind of ended up being more about the whole not that bad and how we tend to almost make ourselves believe that, oh, what happened to me is not that bad. And the whole like, it's not a question of if it's gonna happen to other women, but when. And I think it's a really interesting idea because I do also tend to be like, oh, it wasn't that bad if I compare myself to the people, but it's not normal to be walking outside and someone is catcalling you or someone is grabbing your ass or you're just dancing with friends and someone decides that, you know what, I want to put my hand under a skirt and grab her. I believe each uh, woman is reading her own story out loud or maybe it's just a different narrator, but I'm enjoying it. I feel like it's even more powerful to uh, listen to them voicing their own voice, you know, their whole story, just uh, speaking out about the whole thing. And yes. So thanks again to Audible for collaborating with me on this video and I will be letting you know at the end of the month my full on review and rating on this book. I'm still not done with The Oracle Year by Chell Soul. I believe this is a debut author book and I feel like there could have been a bit more uh, editing writing wise like it doesn't necessarily flow super nicely uh but to give my definitive opinion i will have to uh wait i have like 15 percent left for it so i'm still a bit in about it but i just wanted to mention i didn't dnf it i am planning on continuing it then i have a few more uh physical copies of books that were on my original tbr and i haven't read them yet but those are the fours because i had still a few but I wanted to choose like four that are like, okay, these are definitely the ones I'm finishing before the end of the month. So the first one I mentioned last week, but I haven't started it yet. And it is Contact by Carl Sagan. This is a first contact book, sci-fi, aliens. And I've heard so many great things about it. I'm dying to read it. So we'll do that. Then it is about time that I start my big book of the month, which is Pandora Star by Peter F. Hamilton. All I know is that it is, again, a, um, I was going to say soap opera. <laughs> A space opera, basically like hard sci-fi, which I haven't read enough about, but I've heard great things about this one. Not necessarily in book two, because I don't think I've m much people, if anyone, talk about this. But uh, the author per se has been like named quite often in lists of like best sci-fi of all time type of things. So that one, and then the classic that I really want to read is this one. This is Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clark, which I believe this is going to be my first book by him and he's also named quite a bit in the whole like best sci-fi of all time and this is also a first contact with aliens book which again I've been into. <laughs> and then the last book that I have that was on my original TBR is this one which is Lock In by John Scalzi. This one is a dystopian world where there's a disease that for most people the symptoms are like just the flu but then there's one percent that end up being like stuck locked in into their own body like you're like fully awake but they can't move so very curious to see how i'm gonna feel about this because the second book just came out and definitely want to like read it very curious i also just just got uh, a book that i was waiting for uh from my library which is long way down by jason 
Reynolds. And now I can't remember because I waited for a while for it, but I believe it is a Y coming of age uh, story that is written kind of like poetry, which I have never read. Well, at least not in years, anything that would be anything like that. So I will be reading this. I believe this is a really, really uh, short book, so I should be able to also to finish this before the end of the month. I also wanted to include kind of like sneak peek of a few books that I'm waiting for that you might be excited for me to read because I added my name to uh, the waiting list for a few different ones. The first one is Leah of Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Abertali, which is the same author that uh, she wrote Love. No, no, that's the movie. Simons versus the uh, Homo Sapien Agenda. So I'm waiting for that one. I should have it maybe at the end of the month. And I'm also waiting, super excited about that one, which is uh, Only Human by Sylvain Novel, which is the last book in the Temis File series, which I'm like, yes, really want to finish this. And I should have it, they say two weeks, but like, who knows? I believe I will have access to it before the end of the month. And since it's pretty short, I may be also able to finish it before the end of the month. So I kinda, kinda just wanted to throw it out there that I will most likely be uh, reading this before the end of the month. Okay, so that's gonna be it for my update Friday reads. Let me know in the comment section how your last week has been going. Have you been reading a bunch? Have you been in a slump? Any exciting books that you just finished or you're going to pick up? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't miss any future videos. I will be putting on the screen other videos that I've done that I recommend you check out and I will see you in my next one. Bye.